Hey guys, welcome to Stoneheart Alpha 10 with me Banto. So I'm gonna make a new today and we're gonna check out Alpha 10 which houses a lot of new changes for the game. So we're gonna make a new game and uh, here it, it kinda looks the same as before but a little bit different. So the first thing you can see that we have these bluish thing which are actually lakes. So we have water on the map now so that's a big difference compared to before. And as far as I know, you don't really have any use for it for the moment. I think it's only visual so far. But you can also see the difference to the right side here. That we got all these, how many trees and plants there are in the selected place we choose. How the wildlife life is, how the minerals is. So obviously if you go up here, you have a lot of minerals. Almost no wildlife. A little bit of tree, but almost none. So you gotta try to find a good place to start out. So you see, it's not so much wildlife here. So we might go for some different place. We might go up here. Okay, we are in. So let's get a place where we can settle down. So we have some berries bushes around here. So I think I want to settle down here. There we go. North Hopeford. I'm gonna name this town Tim Town by a guy named uh, Timmy Hartzi that requested a name in the game before. So this is gonna be Tim Town. So what we're we basically gonna do is that we're gonna check out like new features for the Alpha 10 and eventually we're gonna start a new town which is gonna be on a stable release where we can go a lot further and make a lot of more things. So some obvious thing that has changed down here, for example we got these different user interface icons here so it looks way different compared to how it looked before. I think I liked both ways actually, this is not as bright as the other one was so we got town info here, it's very like straightforward town info. It shows the info from our town and this basically kind of looks the same as before. And we also got our people, but this is a little bit different. You can click this and change jobs. So this looks a little bit different compared to how it looked before. And one major thing that has changed in this version we can check out pretty soon. But first I'm going to make a stockpile. There we go. And we should harvest some resources. See, this looks a little bit different as well. So get those trees down. Maybe we should get one more, two more. Let's get both of them. It goes pretty fast to get them down anyway. We can promote some people so we can get going with this little town that we're gonna make. So we get a carpenter and... Oh, we actually got a girl named... I think that's a girl named Luna. So, like Luna Girl, one of you guys who's uh, watching my videos. So, promoting to the trapper. So we're gonna set up first... Let's set out a little trapper's field. This is really useful because we don't have a farmer, it's grayed out. And we saw that maybe that the trapper's ground, it became red. It changed the color, showing that we can actually make this. So let's make a little trapping field and now we're gonna check out one of the major changes for the game. So if we go under here to build things, place buildings, you see different buildings that are pre-made. But if you go to design custom ones, you see this looks way different, this is kind of like showing the different parts of what you need. So, okay, we need to have some kind of wooden floor. And you see there's so many more options for colors now. So I'm gonna go for a whitish floor this time. Not gonna make a big house, we're gonna make it... Uh, let's make it... 7x7. Seven seven. And then we, of course, we wanna have some walls for this. And I think that... Uh, yeah, that could work pretty good. White walls and brownish columns. And of course we want to have a door for this, people are going to be able to, you know, enter this place. And we also want to have a window. So you see it's pretty, pretty easy to get going, like, you see what parts that you can have for a house. And uh, as you see it continues on here, so this is actually, you can make multi-store houses. The bad part is, if I would make it for example like this, it could look pretty good, uh, pretty bad or pretty good, depending on how the color looks, because so, see, it doesn't match the wall here, but it might actually work since we have these columns. But what you could do instead with uh, that for the moment to make it look better, is to actually go for an uh, whitish floor. And if you want to, I mean, you, we can even make like this to make it even better. So we will remove these, where we have the columns. And then we can just add there so it looks like the columns continue because it will do it in the top anyway so so we get another wall and see matches in really really nice so it's much easier to make custom houses and multi-store houses than it used to be the bad part is for the moment there is no slab tool 
And that tool is going to come eventually, it's going to be some kind of voxel tool. So you're going to be able to customize the buildings way more than you can for the moment. But uh, this is an early good step, I think. So we have the roof as well, and you see it's... You can actually see it through, but uh, there's no real problem with it anyway, so... It will come up a wall here. Maybe we can make it a little bit taller. And maybe we're gonna have some more windows. So this is not, you know, I should have it like one more width, so it would have been matching better. But I mean, it can work like that. So like two windows there. I think that's pretty good. And what we maybe could do as well, because people, you know, they might want to be able to actually come up there and get inside the house. So let's see if we can actually, if we can reach this thing here. And we're gonna go inside and uh, remove a little bit of this floor here, so we can actually... For example, we can make a ladder going up. We have no slab for the moment. So for that reason, it's pretty hard to... It's pretty, pretty hard to make some kind of a stair for the moment. So I mean, we're just gonna go for what we have for the moment. So there's gonna be a hole there where we can have a ladder. And of course, you can add other things like decorations, but we have none for the moment. So this is what we got for the moment, what we're gonna build. So let's build this house. Finish the editing, and we can save this if we want to. Once we see the required amount of materials that we need to make it. And we're just gonna make it. Start building it. Okay, Traveler, what do he want? Oh, four rabbit jerky. That's good. Thank man. So what we maybe also want to do now is actually to gather a little bit of berries. Early on good food. And by the way, I noticed, uh, I would say the most thing that take down your frame rate when you get a big town, it seems to be something with the, the shadows. I had my previous town, it started to lag incredibly. And uh, after dragging down the shadows, or actually disabling them, it was really good frame rate, so it's something that they got a tweak with to optimize to make it better in the end. But it's alpha, so it's gonna get better eventually. Hopefully it will, I'm pretty sure it will. If it won't be better, that's that's really sad, because this is a pretty amazing game. So what more should we do? I think we should get our cop into doing some work here, so... Aslin, Brightwell... You're gonna make a workshop, you see I can access it there as well, it requires one wood. So I'm gonna put it close to my little stockpile I've got here. And also gonna name this carpet that I've got here. Aslin. I haven't seen that name in the game before. So who should this be? This is a girl as I saw it. So let's see what we got here. We can have y um Jamaican <laughs> Burger Mafia by M1A. So that's good, we got Jamaican Burger Mafia doing the carpenting. So you see, this is really, really useful, because before it was way harder to figure out how you would do this. It did work out pretty good to doing it. But uh, this way it's more straightforward. People are actually doing the scaffolding for the top. You don't have to really worry about that thing. They can handle that for you, so. Oh, brains! So this is also one new thing with the game. There are some new enemies. Brains, what can that be of kind of enemy? Where do we have them? I think they should be pretty close. Let's speed up the game a little bit so they arrive. Do you see? There they come. What do we got? We got an eye in the dead, a skeleton or something. We got two zombies. So that's something new. Okay, it's actually three zombies. Let's alert my people so they can go and fight them. So this is really fun. They actually have new enemies in the game. So it's not only these normal goblins that we used to have before. So I think that's really, really fun. I haven't seen goblins yet in this alpha, but I haven't really played this alpha so much, so it might be something that I would see once I get a little bit further. That's the last one of the zombies. Nameless the Sad. Poor him. Okay guys, you can go back and do some building. But that's really, really fun, and as I understand it, there should be, with the goblin camps now, there should be breeding wolves, and... Uh, if they grown up and become big, you might have trouble with them. I think they're pretty dangerous. I haven't fought them myself, so... But it is in the notes that they should be pretty, pretty dangerous, so... I think it's something that you wanna kinda like... Either get like... Uh, allied or... At least not hostile with the goblins, or you wanna go there and kill those wolves and their place before that happens. Or if you could even tame the wolves, that would be the best. 
Should we should add a little bit of things here for the carpenter as well? I mean, we can make a uh, farmer's tool and we can also make uh, a door. And we're gonna need some windows. And we're gonna need some beds. But as you saw before also, just like it was before, when you're actually going to add decorations and such things, you have to have them in stockpile to be able to actually show them that you can do it. I think it would be better that it would actually be shown all the things that you currently can craft. I think that would be a better way with it, but uh, it is what it is. So this started on the second floor, so that's really nice. And this is where we're gonna have a ladder eventually, but I'm gonna wait for it for the moment because I don't wanna screw something up with uh, this new system for no good reason at all. Jamaican Burger Mafia, Carpenter Level 1. And I will be adding you guys over time as well, you guys who have been requesting names. We can actually probably rename some more here. So let's see what we got for people. Here's one guy, Willard. So we're gonna name this guy. I think this is gonna be Timmy. By request from Timmy Hartsey, just like before. And he's also gonna become our farmer by request. There we go, Timmy, you're our farmer. Now we just have to get a little feel, and it's still grayed out, it will turn, once he turns. There we go. So let's make a little field for him. We're gonna grow some uh, turnips, fast grown. And he went to sleep. Timmy, you should go over the farm, man. Luna Nelvin has achieved trap level 1. I guess I could, I could, I guess I could name this uh, Luna Lunar. So, Luna Girl by request from Luna Girl. Welcome back to the game. But as I said before, this is gonna be more, we're gonna check new features and see what they have to offer. And then we're gonna start a new stable town. And I think the next stable town, it might be one in Alpha 9, but I think we're gonna try to wait until the stable Alpha 10. And here guys, we see the water and for some reason there's some kind of cube thing here going on, I don't know why it looks like that. But that's water, I think that's a pretty nice thing out of the game. It's maybe a little bit too bright I would guess, but uh, it's like the first version of it, so not to expect too much of it. Do we need, yeah, we might need a little bit more wood. So let's chop down some trees, take those. But this is really 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 useful. This is so much easier to make in this. But it's gonna become way more fun once we actually are able to customize it even more. To use like slab voxel tools to create small different parts, make uh, stairs, which we can't make for the moment. Which we could before. But I guess there were some problems with it, so they, they wanted to rework with it. I ran into a lot of problems with it. I don't know if it was problems with the system itself or if it was more a problem with how I was doing it. It worked it most of the time, but some of the times it kind of got a little bit screwed up. Well, we need a lot of wood for this house. Let's see how it looks underneath. Maybe you should put in a bed. Hopefully they're not gonna be too mad about me placing beds before they are done. I guess we can place one bed on top as well. So I mean, this is pretty easy made two-store house. It's a little house, but it got two stories, so it houses two beds in it. And make the town look a little bit different. I mean, this way is way easier if you want to make a castle or... At least if you want to make a guard tower with it. I would like to have the slabs and do like I did before with my previous tower, though. I don't want it to look just, you know, straight up. You could maybe play around with the, the floor, but I don't think it's gonna work so good, because now this floor actually... It goes down in the ground, so I don't think it would actually work. I mean, I can check it out, but I don't think it do. Yeah, it might work. It's actually above here, so it might work, but... It's not an optimal way of doing it, I would say. You could probably work around with that way, but I wouldn't really recommend that. Carbon level 2, great. Maybe we should get some more berries. We really don't have much food for the moment. Let's get those berries. 
Yeah, maybe we have some. Yeah, we have some tables and some chairs. I guess we can put them outside. We can have them at the side of this house. That could look pretty good. Like that. And we're gonna prepare for a second table to the side here. So we can have some more people sitting there eating. But this is so useful. It wasn't that big of a struggle doing this before, but this is definitely way faster than it used to be. They don't have to go around with ladders, ladders, ladders. Oh, we got a merchant. Do we have anything to sell at all? Don't really have anything to sell. We, I mean, we can sell some. I guess we can sell a table and those beds and we can get some gold. And um, let's buy 10 stone or 20 stone, I guess. And then we're gonna need a bigger stockpile, that's for sure. Don't look that they actually changed anything with the stockpile. That's something I actually hope that will be changing a little bit in the future so we can actually customize it even more so we can choose, for example, what kind of plants it's gonna be. Because if you've seen my videos before, it became a little bit of a problem with, uh, like, for my weaver's house. And I would like to sort out different decoration if they're made by the weaver or if they are made by the mason and carpenters, so they will, they, those can be like split up into different stockpiles, but uh, that's not possible for the moment, so I hope it's going to be possible in the future. But you're almost done with this. I don't know what's up with the, these ladders. Oh, that's for the roof, maybe. This looks more, <laughs> way more advanced than what I used when I was making this. Looks way different. But you're almost done, just a little roof left. This would look pretty cool if you would have like a voxel tool now and you would be able to put out a little bit slab and make like a windmill here. That would look pretty cool. Or make a clock. That would be pretty pretty nice and that would probably be possible as well. Clock wouldn't be moving but at least it would be looking like a big big clock. But yeah, guys, I think this is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart. And in the next one, we're gonna continue Explore Alpha 10. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. And if you like it, feel free to leave a thumbs up. And uh, there's most likely not gonna be an episode this Friday. I will be busy, but uh, starting next week, I'm gonna be back normal again. So sorry for the delays of episodes. And thanks for watching. Have a great, good day. Take care.